Jordan Spence from MotoOnline.com.au, and we're here at Lulia in Sweden uh, for the 2015 Husqvarna Off-Road Media Launch. We've got both ranges, motocross and enduro, out here to put to the test um, on a really great uh, testing ground. We've got a full-size motocross track, very sandy. It's got high-speed straights, uh, a range of jumps, bumps. You've got basically everything you'd ask for to test out a motocross bike and that's really exactly what we needed. Um, then we've also got for the enduro range, we've got a, the Swedish Pine Forest, which has offered up a great, great amount of challenges and a great amount of you know, varying terrain. Uh, we've got sand, we've got really tight tree sections where there's tree roots popping through. Uh, we've got basically everything thrown at us, so it's been great. <laughs> On the motocross side of things, uh, I took out the TC125, TC250, and then we got the FC250, 350, and 450. Uh, being the track that was high speed and uh, quite bumpy and choppy at the end of the day, I was really impressed with the chassis setup across the range. We've got the four cartridge WP fork on the bike for 2015, which has been, I think, a great upgrade. Um, the, you know, you could over jump, you can under jump, and really it soaked everything up really well. And I was probably most impressed with the chassis. Um, high speed stability was definitely another thing that impressed me a lot especially in the uh, in the sandy conditions you can get out of shape quite easily but throughout the range it was you, know, you, ha you really could tell that the bike tracked quite well at speed and handled the corners great jumps it was an all-round package I'm really impressed um, also motor wise the motors are fast um, you know everyone knew that they've got a great motor package throughout the throughout the motocross range and especially I was impressed with the with the 125 two stroke I think it's got 40 horsepower out of the box and it's it's a bit of an animal you know you got a sand track here and you're able to jump everything on it and pull yourself out of some really really deep sand so I was quite impressed with that <laughs> side of things we took out the TE250 and the 300 two strokes and then we took out the FE250, 350, 450 and the 501. Um, really you, you can you can tell a, a big difference in the two bikes chassis wise, motor wise, um, they really do build them to suit especially what we had out here, choppy tight areas where you need plush suspension, talking motor, um, it really, really is a good package. Through, you know, the 501, that thing's, that thing's an animal. The motor is out of control. It's super fast, but at the same time, it's really mellow and you can ride it quite smooth. And if you spend a bit of time on that thing, you could really ride it well and, and you could actually use minimal energy. Um, same with even on the 300 two-stroke. I was surprised by that bike. It's quite torquey. You can throw it in, you know, second or third gear and get through the tight stuff and it really worked well. It was probably one of the more surprising things, I would say, within the enduro models. Um, kind of a, a hidden little one in there that I think people should really have a look at. And um, I would have to say my favourite, which would probably be a lot of people's favourite, is the 350 um, in the enduro range. It's kind of in the middle there where it's got the lightweight feel, but it's got good amount of power um, obviously they've all got a great chassis um, but you can you can still flick the 350 around but you can also get yourself out of trouble and pop the front end up if you need to and just just all around it's a it's a great package but as as with all the enduro models they've really they've got that dialed in that's for sure overall it's been an awesome day out here at the track uh, it's been great to check out the swedish lifestyle the swedish motocross tracks and the swedish pine forest obviously been a perfect way to test uh, both the enduro and motocross bikes uh, in their environment and put them really push them to their limits which is exactly what we we are here to do so we'd have to say a big thanks to the guys at Husqvarna they've been awesome they've basically done anything we needed 
put us up and really taking care of us. So that's that's been awesome. And the technicians out here, got to give a big thanks to those guys. Without them, the day really couldn't happen. Uh, anything you want, they've been working on the bikes tirelessly all day, which has been been great. We're so grateful for that. Uh, so if you want to know more about the 2015 Husqvarna range, uh, check out motoonline.com.au over the coming weeks.